scale of human cooperation is really quite puzzling from a biological point of view. I mean, when we look elsewhere in the natural world, when we look at ants or amoebas or meerkats or baboons uh, or chimpanzees, you know, what we find is that cooperation tends to be restricted to relatively small groups. Those groups are formed of genetic relatives. And in some sense, they help each other because they're genetic relatives, you know, because they share genes that shared genetic interest in the future is what leads natural selection to favor helping behavior within these groups. And we see this pattern right across the natural world until we get to humans. You know, humans don't just cooperate in small groups formed of close relatives and then behave aggressively uh, with hostility to individuals in other groups. Instead, we find very, very large scale societies.